fermented milk products dairy products bakery products other fermented food products fermentation of food is common practice over last several thousand years where microbial growth either of natural or specially inoculated or added microorganisms causes chemical or textural changes to form a new product in these food products fermentation generates unique pleasant food flavors and odors fermented milk products or dairy products around the world at least 400 different fermented milks are produced among them curd or dahi butter milk yogurt cheese are commonly known to us dahi or butter milk are traditional fermented milk products of indian origin which are naturally probiotic in nature yogurt is a commercialized version of the same product by using pasteurized milk cheese is a fermented milk product of european origin during production of all the above mentioned products initial step of curdling of milk is the same which involves inoculation of warm milk with lactic acid bacteria that is lab lab as a starter culture labs include bacteria like lactobacillus species lactococcus species leuconostoc species streptococcus species labs ferment the lactose sugar in the milk to produce lactic acid along with diacetyl and acetaldehyde which gives typical flavor to the curd in marathi we say virjan launi or in hindi we call this step as dahi jamana during homemade curd production virjan here is nothing but some portion of a curd made on the previous day which has freshly grown lactic acid bacteria in it acting as a starter culture for the next lot of curd to be made homemade dahi may have mixed types of lab's whereas yogurt produced on commercial level contains one or two selected varieties of labs some yogurt are mixed or added with pasteurized fruit pulp to make fruit yogurt process of curd formation take warm milk then add lactic acid bacteria to it here lactic acid bacteria is the starter culture and called as labs in case of industrial production the temperature which is suitable for growth of bacteria is maintained the growth of lactic acid bacteria results into fermentation of lactose sugar and release of lactic acid this results into precipitation of milk protein and formation of curd during cheese making after addition of a starter culture a rennet enzyme obtained from elementary kernel of cattle or protease enzyme from fungi is added nowadays variety of cheese are produced throughout the world lactobacillus lactis is used as a starter culture in most of them for initial curdling step after separating the curd from the whey the steps followed are cooking kneading pressing salting etc at the end ripening process is critical for cheese production which may vary from 5 months to 16 months as per the type of a cheese from soft cheese to very hard cheese are you all familiar with a picture of triangular piece of a cheese with bubble holes on it shown in tom and jerry cartoon that is known as swiss cheese typical eye or hole formation is characteristic of swiss cheese propionobacterium species added during ripening process gives final flavor and gas formation leads to eye or hole formation in cheese another variety is blue cheese which is ripened by adding spores of mold penicillium parmesan cheese from italy is type of very hard cheese which requires 12 to 16 months ripening probiotics many microorganisms in fermented dairy products stabilize the intestinal microflora lactobacillus acidophilus may modify the microbial flora in the lower intestine thus improving general health along with lactobacillus bifidobacterium is being used in rapidly developing area of probiotics the addition of microorganisms to the diet in order to improve health benefits beyond basic nutritional value
The exact nature and extent of health benefits are still unclear but may involve minimizing lactose intolerance, lowering serum cholesterol and possibly exhibiting anti-cancer activity. Bakery Products Baker's yeast is an example of microbial biomass as a product. It is available as compressed yeast or active dry yeast. Some of you might have seen or used it while baking at home. Bread is one of the most ancient of human foods and is produced with the help of yeast which is a type of fungi. In bread making, yeast growth is carried out under aerobic conditions. This results in increasing CO2 production and minimum alcohol accumulation. A baker's yeast, Saccharomyces cerevisiae, which contains maltase invertase enzymes and have good dough raising powers, is added to the flour. The CO2 produced by the yeast is responsible for the light texture of many breads. Other fermented food products Sauerkraut or sour cabbage is produced from wilted shredded cabbage. The primary microorganisms contributing to this product are leuconostoc, mesenteroids and lactobacillus plantarum. Lactic acid produced by them gives satisfactory sour taste. Pickles are produced from some fruits and vegetables by natural fermentation carried out by natural microflora present on their surface. The sodium chloride or common salt is added along with the spices to maintain the concentration from 5% to about 16%. The salt inhibits the growth of undesirable bacteria. The fermentation requires 10 to 12 days. It involves the development of leuconostoc, mesenteroids, lactobacillus brevis and lactobacillus plantarum. These microbes play the dominant role in this fermentation process where carbohydrates are converted to lactic acid. Sometimes to achieve more uniform pickle quality, natural microorganisms are first destroyed and then fermented using pure cultures of lactobacillus plantarum. So students, after watching this video related to applied and industrial microbiology, you must have understood now what the eminent French scientist and one of the founders of microbiology, Louis Pasteur, expressed. The role of the infinitely small in nature is infinitely large.